uh, the real Damon Jackson here, and uh, this is a response video to Sumitra Bane, if I'm pronouncing your name right. I don't do uh, response videos at all, if maybe a little bit, I don't know. I'd have to look through my videos. But she claimed, or he claimed, they claimed that it's impossible to get copper chloride without um, bubbling hydrochloric acid or putting it through or mixing it with some kind of hydrogen peroxide concentration. Well, I'm going to prove that wrong. I have right here, it's about two milliliters of HCl and here's the stuff that I made earlier I don't know if we'll be able to see it react today but it's bluish green and here's my copper so I'm gonna actually cut the copper with these pliers into this There it is in the jar, and this jar has nothing in it. Sticking my hand in it. There's nothing in it. There's no hydrogen peroxide. So now, let's see. Now that was clear to start out with. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but here in real life, it's starting to look yellowish green. So I'm going to pause. Actually, no, I'm not going to pause it. Maybe I will. It's getting to be kind of long. But you could see right away that it reacted with the copper because it's the copper is light compared to this kind of carroty colored copper because it removed the copper oxide coating um... was this boring I waited about a day to get this so I'll pause it, I won't add anything I'll just sit here and wait. Alright, so it's been like two minutes. And I found out a way to tell the color. I added a piece of white paper. And this HCL was clear. Now look at it. You can actually very clearly see that it's turning green over time. This would indicate copper chloride. So, don't know what to say now. I'm just <laughs> just showing you this. Whatever. See, it's green. I'll make another video when this uh, turns to crystal tomorrow. Watch, like, comment, and subscribe, and it is goodbye.